Hi Excel and Mac users. In this video I'll show you how to create a break even chart. So this is our break even chart. It's going to need to rely on a couple pieces of data which you're going to choose. We have our fixed costs. Let's say we're making widgets. We have our fixed cost $200. Our total variable cost per unit is 10 cents. Our sales price per unit could be 30 cents. And we're going to use an increment of 500 units. You can see here this is our unit increments and it's going to on our table down here is which is going to run this chart is going to be based off that and then we have our break even units and our break even dollar amounts so let's see how we create something like this I'm just going to take this set of data this is all fixed these have no formulas in there so it's something that's in a way arbitrary what you put in there so I'll take this control C to copy bring it in here Control V to paste. See, I have my fixed cost at $200, $200, 10 cents variable cost, 30 cents sales price per unit, and my $500, 500 unit increments for my chart. The break even units, this is going to be based off of my fixed cost divided by, can divide by the sales price minus the variable cost per unit, right? So in this example, it's going to give us 1,000. The break-even price, it's going to be equal to my break-even units. Multiply that by the sales price per unit. All right. So I've got to sell at least $300 worth to break even. And you can see that it is the same here. So how do we create our chart? We're going to have to populate this table now. And we're going to start off with the units of zero. Right. And for each unit, we're going to increment it 500. So all I need to do is take that plus that particular amount. For this amount, I have to use, I have to make sure it's an absolute cell reference. Otherwise, it's going to keep changing as I drag or copy the cells down. I need to put dollar signs in front of the B and the 6, or I can use the FN F4 key, and that's going to put the dollar signs in front of the B and 6. That makes it an absolute cell reference. So if I drag it down, it's going to stay persistent. So you can see B6 stays, but D20 ch changes. This look references B19, so that changes. And I think I needed to probably, maybe just add one more, have it go up to 3,000. For my fixed cost, that is going to equal that particular fixed cost. All it's gonna do is equal that, press function F4, because when I copy that down, I want to keep that the same. Press enter and drag that down. Or I can have, I could have just put 200 there, but let's say we, if we wanted to use it as a template, you want to change that to like 300, you can just change it one place and it will affect everything else. So for my variable cost, that's going to be equal to my variable cost and function F4 because we want that to stay the same. Multiply that by the units. Press return and that gives us zero dollars because of course your know, units variable cost is zero. Drag that down and you can see the numbers increment there. Total cost basically that's going to be the sum. Press sum, tab, select these two, press return. That gives my total cost there. I can drag or double click the fill handle. I dragged earlier, but you can also double click the fill handle and it'll copy the formula down. So for my sales, that's basically going to be equal to my sales price and function F4, FN F4. That multiply that by my units sold. You sell, you sell zero, of course your sales are zero. Double click the fill handle, drag that or drag it down and we have our data here. Let's just give this a little bit of a grid line, or grid, or border, and make that a little bit pretty. Now I need to go ahead and use this table to populate my chart. So to create my chart, all I need is I need data from the units column, the total cost, and then the sales to kind of see the lines and see where they intersect for that break even. I usually like to create the chart outside of selecting the table. So in this instance, I'm gonna select outside of the data here, go to insert, we're gonna insert a line chart. We'll just use this 2D line chart and let's pull it over here. 
make it a little bit bigger. Let's make that a little bit bigger here. And we're going to start to select our data. So we have our chart selected under chart design, go under select data, and we're going to start to populate the data. So we're going to add our total sales. That name will take that sales for the value. Let's delete that and select our sales here. We're going to also add our total cost. So click the plus. The name we're going to take total cost for our values. We want our values here. Select that. And for our horizontal or axis label, which is going to be my horizontal row, that's going to come from here. So we're going to want to select that. Click OK. And then now we have our chart. So let's make it look a little bit better. And we have our reference here. Let's, this may be a little bit too much going from 100 to 200, 300. Let's probably make this a little bit smaller. What we can do is we, we can just change that a little bit. Go under Format, and we're going to format the, let's click the Format pane. Click the Format pane. We want the units, each of the major units, probably to be 200. That probably makes it a little bit smaller. Press Tab. And now we've got them a little bit smaller. Close that. And we can get rid of these grid lines because they kind of are a little messy. Press Delete. We'll select those grid lines. Press Delete. We can move the chart area a little bit up here. That looks good. And add a legend. So let's go to add a legend. Add chart element. Where is my legend? Here we go. We can do it at the bottom like we had earlier. We have our sales, we have our total cost. And now you can see where the intersection is 1,000 units, which is our break even point here. If we go up here, it should be around 300. So it's hard for maybe your audience to kind of look and, and kind of eyeball that. We have 1,000 units and our break even is 300. Visually, we can see it there, but if we want to kind of add some more information to the chart, what we can do is take this particular data or these rows go and press control C to copy and insert it as a picture. So we're going to in paste the image as not a picture, but a linked picture. And you see what happens when we do that. So I have that linked picture. It's a little big here. So move it in here. And the reason why it's nice to have a linked picture is because if we ever change anything here, it's going to change it automatically because it's not a static picture. So for example, let's say my fixed cost went up to 300. You can see the data here change, but it also reflected in the picture. And of course, it reflects in the chart lines. So that's a way that we can add a little bit of dynamic nature to this particular chart if we wanted to use this as a template and then change things around and eventually take this and copy it into a PowerPoint or whatnot. Of course, we have our chart title. We'll just call this something simple like, uh, let's delete this. Let's go back and delete this. Just call it break even. Well, not real even, break even. And just simple, right? And that's our way that we can create a break even chart. We have our variables here where we can change. It gets reflected here in this table, and the table helps us draw our chart. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.